Go there right now. Good evening. As we speak, we speak as you down. speak. At home, you liar. Our top priority is to recover and rebuild from the recession. As we speak, has touched the lives of nearly every American. Abroad, our brave men and women in uniform are taking the fight to Al Qaeda wherever it exists. And you've tied their hands. Tonight, I've returned from a trip to the Gulf Coast to speak with you about the battle we're waging against an oil spill that is assaulting our shores and our citizens. T today must be day Today's one, then. An explosion ripped through BP Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, about 40 miles off the coast of Louisiana. 11 workers lost their lives. 17 others were injured. And soon, nearly a mile beneath the surface of the ocean, oil began spewing into the water. Because there's never been a leak this size, at this depth, stopping it has tested the limits of human technology. That's why just after the rig sank, I assembled a team of our nation's best scientists and engineers to tackle this challenge. A team led by Dr. Stephen Chu, a Nobel Prize winning physicist and our nation's Secretary of Energy. Scientists are national labs and experts from academia and other oil companies have also provided ideas and advice. As a result of these efforts, we've directed BP to mobilize additional equipment and technology. And in the coming weeks and days, 57 days! 90% of the oil leaking out of the well. 57 this days! The company finishes drilling a relief well later in the summer, but it's expected to stop the leak completely. Already, this oil spill is the worst environmental disaster America has ever faced. How about the world? And unlike an earthquake, How about the world? Wake the hell up! You're a world citizen! You're not an American! You're, in a, you're a world citizen! The millions of gallons of oil that have spilled into the Gulf of Mexico are more like an epidemic. How about millions of barrels, not gallons? And even years. But make no mistake. Ha! Ma you've made many! Spill with everything we've got for as long as it takes. We will make BP pay for Look, the damage. Look, I got a question for you, oh mammy. And we will do whatever My question is, why don't you hire all the fishermen, all the shrimpers that are out of work like and have them out there with skimmers using their boats? That could be thousands of boats out on the Gulf of Mexico sopping it up. We're going to make sure that a catastrophe like this never happens again. You'll never stop it. You can't even stop this one. From the very and it was your fault. The federal government has been in charge of the largest... Oh, since day one. Yeah, we've been in charge since day one. An effort led by That's all I've heard. We've been in charge since day one. We now have nearly 30,000 personnel... Oh, it was George Bush's fault. Yeah, he's an idiot too. It's your fault also. And I've authorized the deployment of over 17,000 National Guard members along the coast. These servicemen and women are ready to help stop the oil from coming ashore. How are they going to stop it? Clean the beaches. You haven't sent them out in boats, you idiot. You're an idiot. I can't believe this. A Harvard graduate, and you're an idiot. Because of our efforts. Maybe you didn't graduate. already been removed. Maybe it was affirmative action. Oh my God! Yeah, we gotta uh huh promote him because well we don't want to catch flack. We're just, we're just going to promote him. And absorb the approaching oil. We've approved the construction of new barrier islands in Louisiana to try to stop the oil before. Forty-five days after the governor of Louisiana wanted to do it. God, what an idiot! Forty-five days late. We will offer whatever additional resources and assistance our coastal states may need. Sir, you're a liar. A mobilization of this speed and magnitude will never be perfect. And new challenges will always arise. I saw and heard evidence of that during this trip. So if something isn't working, we want to hear about it. If there are problems in the operation, we will fix them. But we have to recognize that despite our best efforts, oil has already caused damage to our coastline and its wildlife. Oil is the lifeblood of this no nation. Our response is, there will be more oil and more damage before this siege is done. That's why the second thing we're focused on is the recovery and restoration of Gulf Coast. 
If you would stop it before it gets there, then there would be no restoration needed. Don't you? I can't believe this. That living is now in jeopardy. I've talked to shrimpers and fishermen who don't know how they're going to support their families. Right. Put them to work with their boats out there skimming the oil. Put them to work. You get, you've got 5,000 shrimpers and fishermen ready to go. What? Come on. The sadness and the anger they feel is not just about the money they've lost. They don't have to lose money. Put them to work. The way of life may be lost. I refuse to let that happen. You can't stop it. You can't stop anything. Your administration is a bunch of bumbling idiots. A bunch of fools. And business owners who have been... You hands to God. And this fund will not be controlled by BP. In order to ensure that all legitimate claims are paid out in a fair and timely manner, the account must and will be administered by an independent third party. And will they not get paid? Beyond compensating the people of the Gulf... Well, let's not, okay, let's not compensate the people who administer it. How about that? Let's do that. That way we know it's fair. The still represents just the latest blow to a place that's already suffered multiple economic disasters and decades of environmental degradation that has led to disappearing wetlands and habitats. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Decades of environmental degradation? You're out of your mind! What's happened in the past 57 days is more than what's happened in the past 250 years, you fool! Oh, a former governor. How about the current governor? Oh, he don't count. Or she. The plan will be designed by states, local communities, tribes, fishermen, businesses, conservationists, and other Gulf residents. And BP will pay for the impact this spill has had on the region. The third part of our response plan is the steps we're taking to ensure that a disaster like this does not happen again. So you're going to stop all oil you drilling. Ago, <laughs> That's a smart move. That just, what? You are a bumbling fool. Making mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Overreacting and then not reacting enough was not the case in the Deepwater uh, deep Horizon right now. And I want to know why. The American people deserve to know why. I want to know why you haven't been out there with the fishermen sopping it up. That's what I want to know. These families deserve to know why. And so I've established a national commission to understand the causes of this disaster. 57 days later. On what additional safety or is it 50 state, 57 states later? Uh, <laughs> Stop mumbling, Mammy. Work on these rigs. But for the sake of their safety and for the sake of the entire region, we need to know the facts before we allow deep water drilling to continue. Right. I agree with that. I urge the commission to complete its work as quickly as possible. I expect them to do that work thoroughly and impartially. And before you're out of office, will it be done before you're out of office? Is at the agency in charge will it be done before you are out of office? Management service. Over the last decade, this agency has become emblematic of a failed philosophy that views all regulation with hostility. A philosophy that says corporations should be allowed to play by their own rules and police themselves. At this agency, industry insiders were put in charge of industry oversight. Oil companies showered regulators with gifts and papers and were essentially allowed to conduct... And why did you allow that to continue? Write their own regulations. Why did you allow that to continue? Under your watch, it was allowed to continue. One of very first acts was to clean up the worst of the corruption at this agency. After the accident? Imagine that. And the pace of reform was just too slow. And so Secretary Salazar and I are bringing in new leadership at the agency.